Hello everyone, this is Nancy Rector from OurPeacefulPlanet.com and I'm here to show you how to make a couple of different easy Christmas cards using the free online service PicMonkey. That's P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y dot com. Now, to let you know, they do have a paid service for $4.99 a month. You can have access to all their features, but we're just going to use their free service, which still gives you plenty of options to create some really nifty little Christmas cards. Now, you can make Christmas cards to either email or you can make them for print. And I'll clarify that later. The first thing you're going to do is pick the photos that you want out of your photo collection and they need to be on your computer so they need to be digital photos which shouldn't be a problem nowadays and I put all my working files on my desktop so I've already picked a couple of photos that I want to use and put them on my desktop here's one of my granddaughter a few years back and here's another one of Roy and I again a few years back that I've decided I want to use for a couple different cards so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the edit once you get to pick monkey click edit on the top and it'll open up the place that on your computer that you can find your files if it's not already on your desktop you want to click on your desktop assuming that's where your files are and then you scroll down and I'm going to pick this photo of Roy and I first I'm going to click open and there it is it opens up their basic edit features on the left on the left here's where all of their options are and there are possibly hundreds of them you could spend hours going through this and and it's really quite fun um, there are they have features that are again paid and the way that works let me just show you that real quick they will have the paid ones will have let me see if I can find one real quick here um, this little icon that's a orange crown and when you click on anything that has that it will ask you to upgrade or else it will it will put a um, it will put a big logo here for pick monkey and that just means you can't use that unless you pay but they have plenty of features that are again not paid and those are usually listed under basic so we're gonna get back to where we were which is the basic edits and I want to crop this because it's got way too much blank space and I'm gonna go to the crop tool now it has a drop-down box here that you can pick the size if you're gonna get it printed you're gonna want a standard size 4 by 6 5 by 7 8 by 10 you can only do these larger sizes if your photo is of higher quality and higher resolution if you're not going to print it you can make it any size you want and you're just gonna email it doesn't really matter you can really you can pick squares you can do whatever you like I'm gonna go ahead and pick a standard size 5 by 7 and what I'm gonna do is it gives you this box and it allows you to move the box around so I'm going to center the box right here, which is good, and then I'm going to click Apply right here, and there it cropped it. Now this photo is a little dark and not quite as, as vibrant as I'd like, so over here under the basic edits, I'm going to click Exposure. It has an auto adjust. If you click that, it'll automatically adjust it, which that didn't seem to do much of anything to me so I'm gonna make my own adjustments I'm gonna click on the brightness and go up just a little bit and then I'm gonna click on contrast those are the two generally you'll use a lot and you'll see how the contrast just makes it pop just a little bit more once you get what you want you click apply now say you do something too much and click apply and you're like whoops did that a little bit too overboard up here on the top they have these undo and redo you can always undo one step at a time the last steps that you've done or the last features you've used so I undid that because that was a little much it's gonna make me do the brightness again and then the contrast to where it's just that's pretty good I'm gonna click apply now the next thing I want to do with this I'm gonna use the full picture for my for my card is I want to put a frame on it when you hover over these on the left you'll see the different things and this one is frame and it looks like a frame very handy click frame now again you'll see ones down here now these little crowns are white uh, but when you click on them then you'll see that it's the orange you can't use those unless you pay photo corners but the ones up on the top are the free ones I happen to like this this is called museum mat I like that one it's a very basic frame so I'm gonna pick that I click on it now you can actually change the colors I'm gonna change the outside color and the inside color the outside I'm gonna make it a kind of a I want a bright red let's see that's not quite as bright as I would like there we go and then the inner color 
I want a Christmas green. There we go. I like that. You can actually change the thickness. I'll make it a little bit thicker. Then I'm going to click Apply. All right. Now that's done. That looks nice just like it is. You could send it like that or save it if you want. But I want to do a little bit more to it. So I'm going to go to the fun area now. The very bottom here, the snowflake, is themes. That icon is going to change depending on the season. Since it's the holiday season coming up, it's a snowflake. Click on it and they have all these themes for all kinds of holidays. The two for Christmas is Santa Land and Winterland. Click on Santa Land and there's all these choices. Um, these little arrows here expand or close up the choices. I usually close them all up to start because it confuses me. <laughs> um, and you can see the things here. Costumes, overlays, frames, and text. We've already done a frame. Um, what I want here is costumes because I know what's in here. I've played around and they have beards and gray hair and noses you can stick on. But what I want is these Kris Kringle caps. I want to put a Kris Kringle cap on each of us. Click on it. It puts it over here. Now you can drag it around. This box here can be moved and this has the features that you can adjust for this cap. Now the cap needs to be a little bit larger. You can just grab it and stretch it out. That looks a little small, a little bit bigger. There we go. That looks pretty good. If you ask me, click off of it to see what it looks like. Now, not wanting to be left out, I want one too. So I put one on. And this button here will let you change the direction. You can actually flip it upside down depending on what it is. But I want mine this way. I think that makes more sense. And then you can tilt it. That's a little bit big. I want to make it a little bit smaller over a little bit more down a little bit more they almost look real i mean really at a glance and there that's done that also looks pretty awesome but i think i want to do one more thing i'm going to go in santa land i'm going to go to overlays the very first thing in overlays is messages now these overlays are, are usually graphics that you can you can put on stockings, uh, candy canes. I mean, you just stick graphics all over and move them around and change the size. I'm going to go to Seasons Messages. Now there's four that are free. I'm going to click this one, Merry Christmas. Now depending on your photo, it's going to depend whether it shows up. I'm going to put it down here and because it's white on white, because I have this white shirt on, I'm going to change it to black. You can make it larger. And there you go. Now ready to be saved. Go up here, click Save. It gives you three qualities to save. Roger is the low quality. Don't know why they named him this way, but they did. Pierce is the high quality. Sean, or excuse me, Pierce is the medium quality, and Sean is the high quality. If you're getting it printed, you want to always save it as the high quality. Always, always. If you're going to just be emailing it, I would suggest using the medium quality. The higher quality is going to make for a bigger file and it's just not necessary when you're emailing things. Things can be um, lower file size and look wonderful on a computer screen. So I'm going to save this one medium, rename it here. I'm going to do Christmas card, then save to my computer, and I'm going to save it to my desktop, shrink my browser, and there it is.